Welcome to Master English TV Olympia, the very first English quiz show that is being broadcasted all over Mongolia, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a good time sitting in front of your television, just watching whatever you like. But right now, you're watching Master English TV Olympia. So, among 81 teams from 50 different schools, three of them are here. So, the first team we have is school number five with the team captain Amar. And the members are Anun and Michel. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. Next team is school number 52, the boys team with the team captain Niem Dorch. Members are Atsurun and Iko Isatlan. Thank you very much. And the third team we have is the Fanta team, school number three. But it's the Mongolian and Russian joint school with the team captain, Batam Hand. Members are Dorj Hand and Giril. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So here are our participants. And today we'll be asking many questions about the capital cities around the world and some math questions. Uh, about books and everything, alrighty? So let's get on with the show without talking too much. The first round will start with school number five. Are you guys ready? Okay. So, alrighty. Please grab your mic, turn it on, and here goes the first question. Of which nation was Catherine the Great, the Empress from 1762 to 1796? A, Russia, or B, Austria? Russia. That is correct. Thank you very much. Next question is a math question. The slope of a line parallel to the x-axis is 1. Is it A, false, or B, true? False. That is correct. Good job. Okay. Keep going. Question number three. In the sentence, the song was as beautiful as the larks. What figure of speech is used? A, metaphor, or B, simile? E. Oh, come on, guys. It was B. As beautiful as larks, right? Fourth question. A camel with only one hump is known by what name? A, dromedary, or B, bactrian? B. A, it was... Let's move on to the last question for round one, school number five. The 1902 bronze sculpture that depicts a man in deep meditation called the Thinker was created by August Roden. Is it A, true or B, false? True. Thank you very much. Alrighty, that is the end of round one for you guys. Now let's move on to the Iberry team, the boys. I like your clothes, okay? <laughs> Ready? Yes. Okay, school number 52, round one. Here it goes. First question. What type of protein acts as a catalyst to bring about an increase in the rate of a reaction in the body? A, enzyme, or B? A. <laughs> Thank you very much, that is correct. Second question. The linear distance around any polygon is its perimeter. A, true or B, false? It's false. I'm sorry, it was true. Third question. In mythology, who was the giant with one eye located in the middle of his forehead? A, Goliath or B, Cyclops? B. Cyclops, that is. That is correct. Okay, fourth question. Identify the gerund in the following sentence. Staying awake all night in the storm was no fun. A, staying awake or B, in the storm? Staying awake. Of course, that is staying awake, right? Last question. Give the more common name for the Egyptian artifact called a sarcophagus. A, crown or B, coffin? Coffin, B. Alrighty, thank you very much. You guys did a good job. Next team. The Mongolian and Russian Joint School. Ready, girls? Yeah. All right. First question, here it comes. What is the simple subject in the following sentence? A piece of cake would satisfy my hunger. A, cake or B, piece? B. Piece, that is. 
A math question, identify the number that represents the approximate ratio of the circumference to the diameter in any circle. Is it A, 2.72, B, B oh, or Our answer is B. That is correct, thank you. Question number three, identify the thin layer of the sun that lies directly below the corona, visible during a solar eclipse. It is reddish in color. A, chromospheres, or B, sunspot? Uh, A. That is correct. Man, good going. Okay, true or false question is question number four. The Dr. Doolittle book series about a man who can talk to animals features a gazelle unicorn cross named Push Me, Pull You. Is it A, true or B, false? Oh, we think B, false. I think it's A, it was true. Man, so close for the bonus question but not that close. Last one. Which Charles Dickens character from A Christmas Carol said these words? God bless us everyone. A, Ebenezer Scrooge, or B, Tiny Tim? Uh, Tiny Tim. That is correct, right? Have you guys seen that movie, Christmas Carol? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Do you like Scrooge? No, he's <laughs> rude. Yeah, he's rude, but he turned out to be a good guy in the end, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of round one. But right now, we have a random spotlight question from one of the teams. OK. Random spotlight question from school number five. OK. I will pick a person, and that person will answer my question without getting a help from your teammates. OK. Clear? Yeah. Okay, Anung, please grab your mic. You are the chosen one to answer the random spotlight question. No one's gonna help you, you're all on your own. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Identify the pen name used by author Daniel Handler in his novel, A Series of Unfortunate Events. A, is it Mark Twain, B, Boss, or C, Lemony Snicket? E. I'm sorry, it was C, Lemony Snicket. Thank you very much. The scores we have in the end of round one is the first team, school number five with 130 points, school number 52 with 140 points, and the Mongolian and Russian joint school also with 140 points. Our show is powered by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries ice cream. We will see you after the break. Welcome back to the show, Master English TV Olympiad. We recently finished round one with the three teams, and now it's time for round two. But before starting, I would like to ask some questions from our participants from Mongolian and Russian Joint School. Okay, how are you guys doing? Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, so uh, you are graduating this year, right? You guys are graduating yeah. and summer vacation is so near and you're almost finished with your finals and what are you guys planning to do this summer? What is the plans for this summer? Uh, for me, uh, the first uh, thing that I need to do most is uh, to attend my high, uh, university mm -hmm. uh, successfully. Yeah, yeah so uh, what is the your favorite university. Where are you going to go? Uh, I always wanted to be a doctor, so mm -hmm. I'm attending a medical university. Alrighty. That yeah. sounds awesome. Good job. How about the other two? I'm same. I'm, I'm going to attend my university. Mm -hmm. Which one? Um, um, <laughs> Mongolian National University. You, Mongolian National University. Any plans for the summer after you apply for your university? And uh, then I'll, I'll go on vacation. <laughs> on a vacation? <laughs> to the countryside? Yeah. Or maybe a children's uh, camp To the countryside. Something? Oh, countryside. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in Tiruvilj. Tiruvilj? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. How long are you going to stay there? I'm just kidding. Okay. Next person. <laughs> well, I'm going to study in the United States. Ooh. Yeah, well, Which I state? already applied Pennsylvania. Oh, man. So you shouldn't be here. 
if you become a winner, then you'll get the chance to study for a 100% scholarship in Mongolia. But, okay, I'm just kidding. Maybe and I'll stay. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. And anything else? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to work here in summer, like, earn experience, have fun, learn mm. life, maybe. Oh, work here in yeah, Mongolia? Yeah, just for summertime. Just for summer? Yeah, And where are you going to head to States? Uh, August, maybe. August? Yeah. Yeah, alrighty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Good job, girls. Okay. Very, very good. <laughs> All right. Round two starts with Mongolian and Russian joint school, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes the first question. Internet Explorer and Firefox are both examples of what type of computer application? Search engine, network, or web browser? A web browser. That is incorrect. I'm just kidding. It is correct. <laughs> okay, next one. In triangle ABC, angle A measures 79 degrees, angle B measures 67 degrees, and angle C measures 34 degrees. Name the longest side of the triangle, AC, BC, or AB. Which one? Uh, we think AC, A. I'm sorry, it was B, BC. Third question, identify the U.S. president who was the chief planner of the League of Nations following World War I. A. Woodrow Wilson, Harry Truman, Franklin de Roosevelt. Uh, A. Yeah, of course, A. That is correct. Thank you. Fourth question, what type of plant often seen during the reign of the dinosaurs had leaves called crowns? A. Ferns, B. Orchids, or C. Penny work. Uh, B. Orchids, no, it was A, ferns. No questions to ask. Last one. When German geophysicist Alfred Wegener set forth the hypothesis of continental drift in 1915, what name did he give to this supercontinent he claimed existed 200 million years before? Man, this was a long one, right? Okay, A, Pangaea, or B, Atlantis, C, Pampas. Uh, Pangea A. That is correct. Thank you very much. Alrighty. 170 points. Alrighty. Now it's time for school number 52. Guys, guys, the boys. Question number one, round two. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here he goes. In the words polygon, polyphemus, and polygamy, what is the meaning of the prefix poly? A1, B many, C5. B. Many. Yes, B. Okay. Thank you very much. That is correct. Second question. What name is given to a triangle with no sides equal? Yes, it's a C. Uh, it's just, uh, I think it's B. Scaling uh, it was. I'm sorry. True or false question is the third question. In the Harry Potter series, man, okay. The wizard Cornelius Agrippa was imprisoned by muggles for injuring the mail carriers. A, true or B, false? It's false. Yes, that is correct. Uh, question number four. In stage productions that include dancing, what title is given to the person who creates and plans the dance movements? A, director, B, producer, or C, choreographer? It's C. That is correct. Thank you very much. Good going, boys. Last question for round two. Here it comes. In Scandinavian countries, these coastal features are formed between steep cliffs and slopes and are seen on a map as long, narrow inlets from the sea. Name these landforms. Georges or bays or deltas. It's B. Yeah. It's A. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. Also, 170 points in round two. Man, boys and girls, you guys are going great. Okay, time for school number five. First question, here he comes. What part of the human body enlarges when a person develops Hodgkin's disease? A, lymph nodes, B, lungs, C, heart. A. E. That is correct, thank you. A math question is the next one. Solve the following equation for N. A is a 48, B 208, C 832. A. Oh man. Okay, it was B 208. Third question. 
In the sentence, neither George nor Marisa brought the correct key to open the fence padlock. Which two words function as a correlative conjunctions? A. Correct key. B. Neither or nor. C. George Marissa. C. It was B. Neither nor. Question number four. Which common type of map projection refers to a rectangle on which all parallels and meridians cross each other at right angles and is named for its 16th century creator? A. Topographic. B. Ptolemy or C. Mercator? D. It was C. Last question for school number five. What name is given the point on which a lever such as a teeter, totter, or seesaw balances? A. Verdicts or B. Gear or C. Fulcrum? C. Of course, it's fulcrum, right? On a seesaw, this thing is fulcrum. Right in the middle. Okay, thank you very much. Right now, it's time for random spotlight from school number 52. Hey, boys, you there? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pick a person, and that person will answer my question without getting help, okay? No cheating, no plagiarism. Here he comes. <laughs> okay. Please grab your mic. Random spotlight. <laughs> okay, here he comes. Random spotlight question. Identify the artistic method in which freshly ground pigments of color are applied to a freshly plastered wall. A. Pastels. B. Fresco. C. Sculpture. Come on, it was Fresco! Okay, guys, how are you guys doing? Guys, man, it's all right, okay? Huh? <laughs> Please turn on your mic and answer my question. How are you guys doing? Oh, fine. Uh, are the questions hard or difficult? It, it's normal, yeah. Uh, it's it's normal? normal? Yeah. Yes, normal questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. normal questions it is. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was school number 52. And this is the end of round two. After the break, we will get on with 60 seconds question time. Our show is powered by Ministry of Education and Science, who are giving out the grand prize of our show to the winner, which is the 100% scholarship to study in their favorite university for the first year. And we are also powered by Fanta. More Fanta listeners. We will see you after the break. Welcome back to the show, Master English TV Olympiad. We recently finished round two, and we're about to start the 60 seconds question time, okay? So this is a very dangerous part of our show, because uh, if you answer incorrectly, points will be taken away from you guys. If you answer correctly, then points will be given generously, okay? So answer as much as you can, but if you don't know the answer for sure, don't press the button, okay? All righty. So first I'll give the topic. It's about European capitals, okay? I will name the country's name, and then you will say the capital of that country, okay? It's easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. First question, here it goes. Bulgaria. Okay. It's Budapest. I'm sorry, it was Sofia. Next question. Belgium. Brussels. That is correct. Next question. Switzerland. Bern. That is correct. Bern. Okay. Next one. Ukraine. Kiev. Yes, that is correct. Next question. Norway. Oslo. That is correct. Italy. Rome. Rome. That is correct. Okay. Austria. Fanta team? Ver Vena. That is correct. Next question. Croatia. Zagreb. Man, okay, next one. Germany. Oh. You Guys, you got Berlin. That is correct. Next one. Greece. Athens. That is correct. Next one. Yugoslavia. Belgrade. 
That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was, that was a rush hour. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Fancy team. You guys did an awesome job with 240 points. Man, you didn't even miss a chance. Ready? Good job. Just like this. I like this. All right. Our show is powered by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries ice cream. I had the sea buck thrown one. It was very good and fresh. Make me feel refreshed. During the hot days of summer, we will see you after the break. I'm your host, Timmy. <laughs> Sixty seconds question time. Sixty seconds question time. We recently finished the sixty seconds question time, and the Mongolian and Russian joint school did an awesome job on that one. They, they did it. They did it. <laughs> Made their points run up to two hundred and forty, and the Ivory team school number fifty-two with one hundred and sixty after the second round, and school number five with. 180 points. Alrighty. So it's time for round three, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost finished with our show, and right now I'm gonna start with school number five. Okay, first question. Give the name of the document for most democratic nations that lists the fundamental laws or principles that are recognized within the government. A is the constitution, or B treaty, or C mandate. D. I'm sorry, it was A, Constitution. Next one is a math question. Which set of numbers is sometimes referred to as the union of the counting numbers and zero? Rational, irrational, or whole? Rational numbers. I'm sorry, it was whole numbers. Third question. Which mythological creature can be described as a bird that burns and arises from the ashes? A. Gorgon, B. Medusa, or C. Phoenix? Phoenix. Of course, Phoenix, right? On a movie Harry Potter, there's a bird that burns. <laughs> okay, next one. Name the sport that would feature a competitor performing a double back layout as a part of his routine. Wow. A, swimming, B, gymnastics, or C, football? B, gymnastics. Gymnastics, that is correct. Last question for round three from school number five. Here it comes. Identify the word that refers to a period of 1,000 years. A century. Century. Oh man, century. Are you sure it was millennium, boy? Century is counted as hundreds, right? Okay, thank you very much. Let's move on to school number 52. Identify the branch of science that studies how living things interact with each other and with their non-living environment. C. That is correct. Good start. Math question, next one. Find the greatest common factor or greatest common divisor of 8, 20, and 40. Is it A, 5, B, 10, or C, 4? C. That is correct. Question number three. Identify the famous British Victorian poet who penned the lines of the sonnet. How do I love thee? Ooh. Let me count the ways. A. Sylvia Plath or B. Elizabeth Baird Browning C. Charlotte Bronte A. B. Was Elizabeth Very funny. Okay. Question number four. The digestive system of which vertebrate animal would include the intestine, esophagus, or qualca crop and gizzard? A. Bird B. Line C. Moose Bird, A. That is correct. Good job. Thank you. Last question. <laughs> Round three. Identify the fable by Aesop whose lesson could be paraphrased as slow and steady wins the race. A. The tortoise and the hare. B. The boy who cried wolf. C. The lion and the mouse. A. Of course, A, right? The turtle and the rabbit. Okay. Thank you very much, boys. Let's move on to Mongolian and Russian joint schools girls. Ready? First question, yeah. here it comes. Which body part is affected by the medical condition called rhinitis? A nose, B eyes, C ears. Uh, I will see. It was a nose. Next question is a math one. If a car travels 930 kilometers over a period of 15 hours, 
What is its average speed, excluding time taken for fueling stops? A, 52, B, 70, or C, 62 kilometers per hour? Mm, A. Oh, man, that was C, okay. Give the name for the order of mammals that feed mainly on flesh. A. Herbivores or B. Reptiles. C. Carnivores. Carnivores. That is correct. Ten points. Next question. Question number four. Name the King of England known for establishing the Reformation in his country after he separated the Church of England from the Roman Catholic Church. A. Henry VIII. Okay. A. A, that is correct. Good job. Last question for round three. Although presently a desert, the Gobi was once what type of land form? A, mountain, B, volcano, or C, sea? Oh, A, mountain. I'm sorry, it was a sea. It was a beautiful sea, okay, if you read the history. Thank you very much. Right now, it's time for random spotlight question. A, okay, <laughs> from you guys. Round of spotlight question, okay? I'll pick a person, and that person will answer my question. It's not bottom hunt, it will be torch hunt. Who will answer my question? Okay? Torch hunt. Random spotlight question, here he goes. How many degrees of longitude are equal to one hour of time among the Earth's 24 time zones? A, is it 20, B, 15, C, 12? 12? 15? Okay, it was B, 15, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, this is the end of round three. Our show is powered by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries. Alrighty, so after the break, we will get on with the last part of our show, 60 seconds question time, okay? My name is Timmy, I'm your host. We'll see you after the break. We're back with the show, Master English TV Olympia, the very first English quiz show that is being broadcasted all over Mongolia. And we're at the ending point of our today's show, which is the 60 seconds question time. But before starting the 60 seconds question time, I would like to introduce the points that we have, right? Okay, so the first team, school number three, the Mongolian Russian Joint School has 260 points. School number 52 with 200 points. And the third team, school number five with 200 points. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for 60 seconds question time. If you know the answer, press the button. If you don't know, don't press the button, okay? Simple and clear. The topic is mathematics. Man, it's gonna be easy for you guys. Square roots, you know this, right? Directions for each of the following numbers, either find the exact square root if the number is a perfect square, okay? Clear, right? right? Clear. Alrighty. First question. 49. Seven. That is correct. Next one. Six, 16. Four. That is correct. Next one. 225. Uh, 50. 50? 50. 15. Oh, that is correct. Next one. 64. Eight. Eight. That is correct. <laughs> 121. 11. That is correct. Next one. 12. 12. 12. That is incorrect. It was 21. 20. 6. 6. That is correct. Last one. 9. 9. That is correct. 20. That is correct, girls. Anyone? 1089? 23. I'm sorry, it was 33. Last question. Last question, please. And that is the end of 60 seconds question time, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of today's show, Master English TV Olympiad. Okay, so the scores we have at the end of the show is the first team, 
school number five with 230 points, school number 52 with 210 points, and the winner for today's show is the Mongolian and Russian joint school with 280 points. Let's give them a round of applause. Our show is powered by Ministry of Education and Science who are handing out the grand prize, which is to study in their favorite university with 100% scholarship and I berry, the real taste of wild berries ice cream. Also, Fanta, more Fanta, less serious. You can catch up our show again at masterenglish.mn. This is Master English TV Olympiad. I was your host, Timmy. We'll see you next time.